Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss string operators in PHP. PHP has two string operators. Dot indicates concatenation operator. Dot equal to indicates shorthand concatenation assignment operator. Concatenation operator converts the left hand side and right hand side operands to the string format and forms a new string by combining them. Whereas shorthand concatenation assignment operator converts the left hand side and right hand side operands to the string format and forms a new string by combining them and assigns the resultant string to the left hand side variable. Note it is recommended to add space before and after the string operators. Let's have a demo and understand how to use concatenation operator and shorthand concatenation assignment operator in PHP. I go to vamp server www directory. Within the www directory, we have created default.php file. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.php file is open inside the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code tidally set to default page. Here in the body section, I say less than question mark PHP which indicates the beginning of the PHP code, question mark greater than, which indicates the end of the PHP code. Here I say echo, double quotations, Manjunath, double quotations, space, dot, space, double quotations, Chidre, double quotations, semicolon. And then I say here echo, br tag, to push the next content to the next line, right? What happens in this place, guys? I copy this and paste. As we have the concatenation operator, I told you that the concatenation operator is going to convert the left hand side and right hand side operands to the string format. Already they are in the string format. So what concatenation operator does is it just combines them together and it forms a new string Manjunath Chidre. I say here file, save, go to browser, localhost forward slash default.php. You can see that default.php file is executed and we got the output Manjunath Chidre. And you can see that there is no space between Manjunath and Chidre words. How do we add the space? I am going to copy this code from here and paste down. To get the space, we can add space after the Manjunath here. What happens here, you should understand. Here we have Manjunath space and then the concatenation operator then Chidre. The concatenation operator is going to combine these two strings together. Manjunath space Chidre, new string will be formed and echo will display that Manjunath space Chidre in the browser. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got Manjunath space Chidre. I go back. I am going to copy this code from here and paste down. Of course, here what happens, we know that Manjunath and Chidre are going to be combined together. We will get the new string Manjunath Chidre without space, right? I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got Manjunath Chidre. I want to add the space again. So what we can do, either we can add space after the Manjunath or we can add the space before Chidre word. So here we will get Manjunath space Chidre. I say file save, go to browser and refresh, you see we got Manjunath space Chidre. There is one more way we have, here I say echo, in double quotations I say Manjunath and then I say concatenation operator dot space, I use the space itself, here I am using string, we have a single space inside it and then I say space dot space double quotations Chidre double quotations semicolon. What happens in this case, we should understand. I am going to copy this code and here I am going to paste it. As we have the concatenation operator, left hand side we have string, right hand side we have string. It is just going to combine them. So it combines Manjunath and space and creates a new string. And this new string again combined to this string. Here it is going to combine Manjunath space with Chidre. We will get Manjunath space Chidre as a new string. It is going to be displayed by the echo. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got Manjunath space Chitre. So there are many ways in which you can get the output guys. 
I'm going to copy this line of code and I paste two times. Let's understand more examples. Here I say echo in double quotations. I say Manjunath double quotations comma space dot space double quotations Chidre semicolon. I'm going to copy this line of code and paste down. We know that left hand side we have string, right hand side we have string. It just combines them together and we'll get the new string saying Manjunath Chidre and echo will display that Manjunath Chidre in the screen. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got Manjunath Chidre without space. I'm going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. Here on the left hand side I say score as a string space. Instead of string here on the right hand side I'll use the number 2. We need to understand how this expression is going to be evaluated. I'm going to copy this content. I paste here. As I told that the concatenation operator is going to convert the left hand side and right hand side operands to the strings first. Already on the left hand side we have string. On the right hand side we have a number. Concatenation operator is going to convert the right hand side number to the string guys. Here instead of 2 it is going to have double quotation to double quotation. And then it combines both the strings together. So score space 2 is going to be the new string and echo will display that string in the browser. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got score colon space 2. That is how the, let me copy this code from here, paste down. Let's see what happens if we use left hand side a number 2 and the right hand side string score colon space double quotations. How this string is going to be evaluated, how this expression is going to be evaluated, let's understand. Concatenation operator is going to convert the left hand side number 2 to string 2 and then it combines both the strings together so we will get the output 2 score colon space. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got 2 score colon space. I go back. I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. This time I will write both sides a number. So here I will say 2 space dot space 2. I will copy this and paste down. Here we have 2 concatenation operator 2. As I told that the concatenation operator is going to convert the left hand side and right hand side operands to the string format and then combines them together to form a new string. Here we will be having a new string 22 and echo will display 22 in the browser. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got 22. So you must understand how the concatenation operator works. If it has both left hand side and right hand side strings, it just combines them. It need not to convert because they are already in the string format. If it has on the right hand side a number, it converts the number to a string format and then combines them. If it has left hand side a number, it converts that to a string and then combines. If it has both left hand side and right hand side numbers, it converts them to strings first and then combines them guys. I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down here. Let's see more examples. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. Here I say score colon concatenation operator 2 plus 2. How this expression is going to be evaluated? Let's understand. I am going to copy this code and paste here so that I can explain. This expression is going to be evaluated from left to right guys. What happens first the concatenation operator will be evaluated. Left hand side it has a string. Right hand side it has a number. So what it does? It converts that number to the string format and then combines them together. So we will be having score space 2 and then the plus operator will be evaluated. We know that while performing any mathematical calculations, if the string begins with a valid number, that number will be extracted. Otherwise it is going to be converted to 0. Here this string does not begin with a valid number. It is beginning with an alphabet. So it is going to be converted to 0. Then 0 plus 2 will be evaluated, will get the answer 2 in this place. I say file, save, go to browser 
and refresh, you see that we got the answer 2. That is how the expressions are going to be evaluated. You must understand this guys. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. I copy this line of code and paste down. What if we need to get score colon equal to 4 in this place? You must use brackets here. Brackets are going to be evaluated first guys. So what happens in this case, I will copy this code and paste down. First brackets are evaluated, 2 plus 2 is going to be 4 and then the concatenation operator is going to be evaluated. On the left hand side it has a string, right hand side it has the number 4. What it does, it converts the 4 to the string format and then combines them together, we will get score colon equal to 4 as the answer. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see that we got score colon space 4. We will talk about precedence of operators in the upcoming video tutorials. We are going to understand which operator will be evaluated first, which operator will be evaluated next in detail. At present, you should understand how the concatenation operator is evaluated and what are the different possibilities you might get, I am explaining here. Let's see what happens if I say here echo 2 plus 2 dot double quotations score colon double quotations semicolon. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. Let's see how this expression is going to be evaluated. Control B. First the plus operator will be evaluated. So 2 plus 2 will have 4. And what concatenation operator does here? Right hand side it has string. Left hand side it is going to convert that 4 to number string and then combines them together. Echo will display 4 score colon in the browser. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see we got 4 score colon. Now we understood the concatenation operator, we understood that it converts the left hand side and right hand side operands to the string format and forms a new string by combining them. Let's understand how do we use shorthand concatenation assignment operator. What it does, it converts the left hand side and right hand side operands to the string format and forms a new string by combining them and assigns the resultant string to the left hand side variable. So we need a variable here guys. I go back. What I am going to do here is I copy this line of code and paste down and let's go down. Here I say dollar my name equal to double quotations Manjunath double quotations semicolon and then I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. We know that Manjunath string is going to be stored inside the my name and we can display value inside my name variable. Here I say echo dollar my name semicolon. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that Manjunath is displayed. Now I want to append the chidre string to it. So what we can do is we can write dollar my name space dot equal to double quotation space chidre double quotations semicolon. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. Now what is the meaning of this code? Let's understand that. The meaning is dollar my name equals to dollar my name space dot space double quotation space chidre double quotation semicolon. The meaning of this code is this one guys. These two codes are equivalent. What we are saying here is take the current value of my name. What is the current value of my name? The current value of my name is string Manjunath, right? And then concatenate them together. So we will be having Manjunath space Chidre. Manjunath space Chidre is going to be assigned to my name. So the new value of my name is going to be Manjunath space Chidre, guys. So this line of code is equivalent to saying dollar my name is equal to dollar my name space dot double quotation space chidre. Take the current value of my name and append the chidre to it and store it back. I told you that whenever you see on the left hand side and right hand side of the equal to operator the same variable then you can take help of the shorthand operators. So here we are taking the shorthand concatenation operator. Behind the scene, this code is equivalent to this code guys. And let's display what is the new value of my name. I copy this code 
and paste down. We will get here double quotations, Manjunath space Shidre double quotations. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got Manjunath space Chidre. Now I want to append the village name. So what I do here, I can write like this dollar my name should be equal to whatever the current value of my name dot a u r a d aurad is my village. So here I am giving space aurad. So what is the meaning of this line of code guys? Take the current value of my name. What is the current value of my name? That is Manjunath space Chidre. Here we are having Manjunath space Chidre and append space aurad to it. So we will be having Manjunath space Chidre space aurad that will be stored in the my name guys. Instead of writing like this, what we can do is we can use the shorthand concatenation assignment operator. We can simply say dollar my name space dot equal to double quotation space aurad semicolon. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down here and let's see what is the new value inside my name. So here I say echo dollar my name. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You should see Manjunath space Chidre space Aurad. So that is the shorthand concatenation assignment operator guys. What it does is it converts the left hand side and right hand side operands to the string first and then combines them together to form a new string and assigns the resultant string to the left hand side variable. That is what I told here. Converts the left hand side and right hand side operands to the string format and forms a new string by combining them and assigns the resultant string to the left hand side variable. I hope you guys have clearly understood concatenation operator as well as shorthand concatenation assignment operator. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly. Try this course by yourself. Try with more examples. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about PHP. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.